welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Christy, and if you're not new, welcome back. Let's go to the craft room and get to crafting. Okay, we're gonna take our little cups from the Dollar Tree, and I got two of the large size and two of the smaller size. You can get these in any color that you want, and they don't have to be this exact cup. I just wanted that little arch detail on it. And when you're putting them together, you are going to make sure that you line up each one of those little seams, or I guess that's what you would call it, a seam. Um, and I'm going to use, this is the E6000 Quick Hold, which is something new that I've found, and I'm also gonna use some hot glue. Um, I am going to put the E6000 in some spots and the hot glue in the other. I don't double it up to where it's on top of each other because I've found it doesn't stick as well if you do that. So I'm taking and doing two of those little areas with the E6000 and then skipping a spot and that will be where my hot glue goes. And then the E6000 on the other side. And make sure to put the E6000 down first because the hot glue dries quicker than the E6000. So you don't want the hot glue to dry before you get all of the glue on. And here I was trying to use my Sure Bonder glue gun that you've seen me try to use in another video and it still is not working. So not sure what the deal is, but that thing was a waste of money. So I don't suggest it. And here I'm just putting a bunch of pressure on to make sure that it gets a good seal in between the two cups. And I'm going to do the same with the smaller set of cups. And now I'm gonna take out some wooden beads. You could use the ones from the Dollar Tree and, because you're gonna be painting this anyways. These are some that I got from Amazon just because I use so many of them. I just ordered them in bulk on Amazon and they actually break down to being cheaper than the Dollar Tree ones, but you have to order a larger quantity. So I was kind of trying to decide which size I wanted to use. I decided I wanted to use the larger ones that I had and I figured out that there's the Dollar Tree ones if you wanted to switch those out for, I use the same size as the largest ones in those bags. Um, I used two for each little section and I put down some of the quick dry or quick hold, I think it's called E6000. And then I also put just a little bit of hot glue as well to hold it in place while the E6000 dries. Once I get the beads on there, I do put a little bit of hot glue also in between each of the beads. And that kind of just fills in the little crack that's in between each of the beads, plus helps it to kind of give an extra bond because it kind of connects them all together so they can't really fall off unless you're hitting it super hard.
Now I am going to take out my Waverly chalk paint and this color is ivory. You could use whatever color goes with your decor. I wanted to use the ivory with the antiquing wax, the, just the brown antique wax. And here I'm kind of pulling off any little strings from the hot glue, just kind of making sure it's all wiped down because that will show up once you paint because it's got such a smooth surface. And I am going to do three coats just because these are the colored glasses. I couldn't find any of the clear ones. I did notice the other day when I was in Dollar Tree, they do have the clear ones now. So if you can find the clear ones, you probably wouldn't have to put on as many coats, but at least two, if not three coats of paint. And I would also suggest painting the inside of the cup that is going to be facing up. I didn't do that mainly because it's going to be up on my mantle and you're not going to be able to see inside the cup but it did make it hard for when I was um, trying to show you guys a picture of it at the end because the little green color wanted to show through but like I said it's going to be up on my mantle so in real life you won't be able to see inside but if you're going to have it put somewhere where you will be able to see the inside make sure you do paint the inside as well unless you get the clear cup and then that probably wouldn't be necessary. And I am trying to be pretty careful about the brush strokes just because that glass well, it's not glass, it's plastic, but um, it's so smooth that the brush strokes really show. So just kind of be careful when you're going over it. You could even spray paint this if you wanted to. Um, I just didn't because I wanted that kind of chalk finish. Um, I do end up using the antiquing wax all over the cups, which you will see in a minute. And then after I use the antiquing wax, I use the clear wax and go over the entire cup just to give it that like silky smooth texture that chalk paint has once you wax it. It looks so pretty. So go ahead and do that to the smaller set of cups as well. Like I said, go ahead and give those each at least two coats of paint, if not three. And I tried to speed it up so you wouldn't have to watch forever and ever and ever. <laughs> Okay, now you're going to take that antiquing wax and I dip my little, it's a tiny little chip brush and I blot it off on a paper towel. Um, at first I wasn't sure like how heavy I wanted the distressing to be, so just kind of blot it until you feel comfortable and then I do figure out that I want it distressed pretty heavily because I want it to kind of have almost that carved wood look to it. Sorry if you hear the jingling in the background, that's my pooch. <laughs> and then I try to do the wood beads also just a little bit heavier because I really want that look of like carved wood. And you just continue with your antiquing wax till your eyes are happy. You can do as much or as little as you want. And now I'm going to take that clear wax and I'm going to paint over everything. Just a thin coat 
all over the beads, the cup, and everything, and that's going to give it that silky smooth finish, plus it's going to blend in any like of the harsh streaks you had from the antique wax. I wanted to pop in real quick and say thank you for hanging out with me today. I love when you guys come hang out with me and leave me comments and like my video. So make sure before you leave, if you do like this, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and ring the little bell right next to the subscribe button so that YouTube will notify you every time I upload a new video. I wanted to pop in and say, look, I even did makeup that matches my whole little gold theme that we did today. I did gold glitter, so hope you enjoy. Now we're gonna take our plates from the Dollar Tree. I got a large, a medium, and a bowl, and those were all from the Dollar Tree. And these candlesticks are from Amazon. You would not have to use the ones from Amazon. You could use some from the Dollar Tree as well. I just order them on Amazon. You have to order more up front, but they end up being about the same price as the Dollar Tree ones. So it's just kind of up to you. Um, I'm gonna take some frog tape. You also, just as a side note, you wouldn't have to get this exact plate. You get whichever one you like. If you want a round one, get a round one. If you want a pizza tray and a cake pan, do that. If you want the burner covers, do that. I just like the look of these plates, how they were kind of rounded, still kind of cute. I kind of wanted like an elegant theme with this because this is gonna go in my kitchen. So I'm taping off with some painter's tape. I usually use frog tape. It seems to work better for me, but you could use electrical tape, the blue kind of tape, just whatever floats your boat. And I'm also wrapping it in aluminum foil, and that is just to prevent overspray because I'm using spray paint. I didn't want there to be overspray anywhere else on the plate, so I just went ahead and wrapped it with foil on the front and the back, and that way I don't have any extra cleanup later. Um, I'm just kind of taping off like a portion. I didn't want it to be a straight line or anything in particular. Like I just kind of wanted it to be just random, I guess is the look I was going for. I, so I end up doing a stripe on the bottom plate, this corner on this plate, and then another corner, an opposite corner on the bowl. And then I'm taking my sanding sponge and I'm sanding that down just a little bit so that the paint has something to grip to. Sometimes if you're spray painting on porcelain like that, that's really slick, the paint doesn't want to stick very well. So I thought I would just sand it down just, just to kind of rough it up enough that it has a little bit of grip to it. And then here I'm trying to decide if I want to go with the same angle on the other plate or if I want to change it up. And this is where I decided to do each layer a little bit different just so it had a little bit of something something you know a little bit of something extra and this is one of those parts where you make it your own if you want a pop of color, you want a bright red, you want a bright blue, you want just a brown. I mean, if you're neutral, do that. If you want to paint the whole plate a color, do that. If you want to leave it plain white and do a pop of color on your little candelabra part, do that. You just do whatever makes your heart happy. That is what crafting is all about. If it makes you happy, do it. That's what I'm here for, to inspire you to do what makes you happy. That's why I love crafting so much. I get so excited and I love that you guys love to share that with me because that's what makes me enjoy this so much. Like, I love sharing this with you guys and I love sparking something in you. Like, if you see something that I'm doing and you're like, hey, that gives me an idea and I'm going to make this and I'm going to love it because I made it with my own hands. I'm here to help make you happy and in the meantime you guys help make me happy because I'm getting to do what I love doing and you guys are part of that 
So I'm excited. And I hope you guys stick around because I'm happy to have so many new friends. And here you can kind of see me taping off the back. Sorry, I get sidetracked. <laughs> there I go with the squirrel. You know me, every video, I have to talk about that because that's basically everyday life. <laughs> and here I'm just taping all that off. We're gonna take this bright gold spray paint and here's my fancy little spray paint and gloves because I always end up with spray paint all over my hands if I don't wear my gloves. And I'm just spray painting the parts that I have taped off. And then I'm gonna let it sit out here and dry a little bit and then we are going to take it back inside. We're going to peel the tape off where it's not 400 degrees <laughs> because it's so hot here in Arkansas. And then I'm gonna take it back outside and spray it with clear spray paint, just clear, shiny spray paint. Just so it kind of seals everything in. That gold isn't gonna scratch now. So here I'm just kind of showing you what we look like now that we're all sprayed and pretty with our shiny gold. Now I'm gonna take some E6000 and my hot glue and I'm gonna put a little bit of each. I'm not gonna layer them on top of each other but I'm gonna put a little bit of the E6000 and a little bit of the hot glue. The hot glue will give us that quick hold just so it doesn't fall apart <laughs> first thing. And the E6000 will give us that strong hold for the long haul. So as you can see, I'm kind of splitting it up here where I'm doing a pretty big portion of E6000 and then just a little bit of hot glue. And I like to flip my plate upside down and line up my candlestick that way. I always get it straighter when I do it that way. And on this first level, the taller level, I'm putting the candlestick right side up. And then on the next level, I thought it looked better to match up those top parts. So I'm going to flip the candlestick upside down. And there I kind of went back and added in a little bit more hot glue and E6000 just around the edge of the candlestick. I thought that would give it a little extra strong hold. And so far, I made this earlier this week, and so far, it has held up wonderfully. Here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to attach it to the bottom of the bowl first. And here's a little quick tip. If you can't get your sticker off, use a, um, this is just an embossing heat tool or a blow dryer or something warm, and that sticker will peel right off. leaves no residue behind by the way too so here's what I was talking about where I'm gonna put it upside down and then you will see when we get done how cute it is by doing that and here I'm doing the same thing I'm putting some e6000 and then I'm gonna go back in the empty spots and add hot glue I can't wait till you guys can see the finished product because it turns out so cute. And I hope if you guys make this that you go over to Instagram, post a photo, and tag me in it because I love seeing what you guys have made. I get so excited when I see that someone has tagged me and I get to go see what you guys created. So I promise I do see the pictures if you tag me and I promise I do get excited. So. Here I'm actually measuring just because it's a little harder for me to get it exactly centered when it's facing up. When it's upside down, I don't have such an issue, but when it's right side up, it's harder for me to tell exactly where the center is and I wanted to make sure it was really centered. So I kind of drew a little pencil mark where I had it sat and that way when I go to sit it back down, I can, I was trying to show you here, I just put a couple of little pencil marks and that way I can get it centered pretty quickly since I'll have hot glue on there and it'll be drying pretty quick. So 
same thing here. I'm just putting some E6000 and then in the empty spots, I'm adding some hot glue. And then I'm just putting some pressure on for a minute till that hot glue has a chance to dry. And then now I'm going to try to get this centered and I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm kind of measuring to see where the halfway point is. And I'm just going to kind of draw a little X so I know right where the center point is. And since this one had that hole in the top, I do end up um, putting... I think I had like a little sponge or something over there and I put something down in there just to fill in that center point so it had more of a connection spot. Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> and look how cute this is looking guys. So here we are going to go into our little wall hanger. These are some little picture um, poster hangers I think is what they were called that I found at Target at the dollar spot. And these were only a dollar. Those little posters. There's three. It's kind of like a cardstock type poster. And this was just kind of a little bonus DIY that I threw in there. It's not really like anything I've made. But I wanted to show you how easy the, these were to put together. And how cute they end up being. So that if you see them in your Target dollar spot. Get some. Because they are so cute. And they are so, so simple. They literally are two little pieces of wood with magnets in them and they snap together. You put one on the top of your little picture and one on the bottom. And so for $4, because the picture hanger thing was $3 and the other, the little cardstock posters are a dollar. So for $4, you get the cutest little, I mean, it, it really looks high end with this gold shiny metallic and it goes with our little gold theme that we've got going on for the day. So I was so excited when I found it because it is so cute. I've seen a lot of people use these and I could never find them. And then the other day when I was in Target, I was like, oh, jackpot. I found the black and I found the gold. So yay. Make sure to comment down below and let me know if you have seen these in your Target um, what's it called? The bullseye spot, I think. I didn't used to be a Target girl, but I have been going all the time now. <laughs> Look how cute that is. And so shiny. And it looks so high end. So here is our little uh, candle holder, plant stand, whatever you want to call it. Then we've got our little tear tray. What do you guys think with how I dress this up? Do you think it looks cute? I love it so much. And then there's our little pictures. And those, like you didn't have to do anything but put them together. How cute are they? You guys, I'm so excited this week. Like, I love all of this shiny stuff. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope it's given you a little bit of inspiration and you go create something wonderful for your home. Make sure that if you do, that you go over to Instagram, post a photo and tag me at Christy Creates DIY because I would love to see what you make. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below, even if it's just to say hi because that helps my channel to grow. I love each and every one of you and I hope to see you back here next time. Bye.